Hello, my fellow Hizzers, and welcome back to the His on Real Estate. This is a channel dedicated to talking about the ins and outs of real estate investment with you. Today, we're going to be talking about some of those budget upgrades that you can make to your short-term rental property that are really going to drive the rentability and give you the biggest return on investment. This is really the special sauce of making a short-term rental property work for you and making sure your dollars work to the best of their ability. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, so as you know, we have a short-term rental property in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I've actually made a YouTube video tour for potential renters to see the house. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the online tour and I'm gonna show you some of the upgrades that we've made that have brought us the biggest bang for our buck. All right, everyone, so this is the video that I made and put up on YouTube uh, for our home in Outer Banks, North Carolina called Sunny Days and um, one of the uh, budget upgrades you could actually take is put a little time into building up your social media, um, put some video tours up on YouTube so people can see the house without actually visiting the house and, um, you know, connect it to a Facebook page you have for your property. Um, you might start some Instagram pages, uh, Twitter accounts, things like that, and connect everything so that um, people can get a really good feel for what your property has to offer, where it's located. Um, you know, they can actually uh, schedule their visit and things like that. So we also have a, a website made for the house. You can visit these, the, the link to this tour is actually on that, that uh, web page. And uh, there's also a link there straight to our property managers page where you can go and book the week. So, so one of the, the budget upgrades you can make is just putting a little sweat equity and time into building up the social media presence and getting the, the property out there, letting people know that you want to rent it. And uh, that actually goes a long way at not a lot of cost. It's just a little time putting the time and effort into putting these videos and things together. So uh, that would be the first thing. Now, uh, this also uh, gives a nice aerial shot of a lake that's right next door and uh, we're not very far from the ocean and you can see over here is the sound as well. Now some things if you're looking specifically at the Outer Banks, but this is probably true for a lot of um, uh, beach rentals, uh, vacation areas nowadays. This is our house here. This is sunny days and so you can see it's uh, three floors. There's a pool in the back here with a hot tub right here and a uh, nice little basketball court. and Pretty much in the Outer Banks, you kind of have to have a home that at least fits uh, two or three families with a pool and a hot tub. That's kind of the base rental of what you're looking for. So if you're interested in coming to this market, um, kind of know the, the house uh, comfortably holds 13. It's a five bedroom, uh, four bath house. Um, so there's actually a bedroom in the basement area, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, there are two kids rooms with bunks in them, one adult room on the second floor, and then the uh, master up top. Um, so you can see here some of the things we've done. Uh, the, this is new seating. Uh, the house came mostly, you know, 90% furnished with everything you would need, all the furnishings, all the silverware and things like that. We've added, obviously, a couple of things to the house, which I'm going to show you here. One of those was this nice, colorful seating. Anytime I think of the beach, I, I think of the colorful Adirondack chairs. So that's one of the things that, that we added at not that great of cost, but I'll show you that as we go through the house. So let me uh, play the video here. And we get a nice traumatic fade away. And welcome in. I probably could have picked a sunnier day to take this video, but here you go. So we made sure there's a basketball hoop over here. So there's something for the kids to do. Um, have a nice little sign showing our the name of the, our house up here here's a charcoal grill that actually came with the house and we have gas in the back so the first thing that that i did one of the first things that i did was and there's me in the uh, glass you can see my reflection but i painted that front door so you have a nice security code uh doorknob door handle on the front with a nice uh coat of paint on the front door uh and we've kind of kept the, the colors uh, matching and of the same kind of beachy theme throughout and so that's the first thing you see and one of the best budget upgrades you can make is a little fresh paint on the exterior doors um, that's the first thing that people see and makes a nice impression the other thing that i did down here this room was all white although they did have the wet bar in the entertainment area with the pool table and everything um, 
I actually went ahead and painted the two-tone um, uh, above and below the chair rail. I painted the bottom a nice bright white and uh, blue up top. Really gives paint, it goes a long way in these homes and makes everything feel fresh. You can see there's fresh paint in this bathroom. Uh, added a fresh mirror as well. There was a really dated kind of silver metal mirror that it was just making the bathroom look very dated. It had a little rust on it. And then another thing that I've did was uh, throughout the house, I added these um, shower heads. Really cool. And I'll go back to that for a second and show you the shower head. Because this is one of those that I picked up three of these on Amazon. And it's a rain shower head. Makes you feel kind of like you're a little bit more in a tropical paradise or at least on vacation. It's a little luxury that you probably don't have at home. But it was something that was rather inexpensive. It was about 50 bucks on Amazon. I got three of them immediately to put in some of the bathrooms and it just adds a nice little touch. Um, it's all these little things, these, these little budget upgrades that make the experience much better for the renter. So it's not necessarily, you know, building a new wing onto the house or, um, you know, putting some kind of luxury window or, uh, luxury uh, kitchen or TVs or whatever it is in the house. Sometimes it's the smaller things that um, really attract attention. And, and this, I think the shower head is one of them. Um, we added fresh paint in here as well and kind of stuck to the same color scheme as I mentioned throughout this kind of tropical uh, pale teal blue uh, shows up in a lot of places. The yellow shows up in a lot of places. I really wanted to give it that tropical feel, that beachy feel with nice, bright, vibrant colors. Now that's not gonna work in every rental property that you have, you know, it might not work for the long-term rental up north, but when you're at the beach uh, on a short-term rental basis, I think you really need to feel like you're at the beach in that tropical, fun, bright environment. And so that's one of the things that I try to add uh, throughout the house. And again, the paint here, uh, it's not a very old house, but the paint was kind of worn down and blah and so this is one of those things that i did to give it a little bit of nice appeal and this bathroom is in the basement level as well with the one bedroom and so in the basement area things can get a little drab and dark so i went ahead and uh repainted a lot of this wood a white color to make a nice pop next to the fresh paint and um and also uh, plays nicely with this fresh white mirror that I have here. Again, I took down the rusty um, metal mirror and all of a sudden you have, and, and I also added for not that much money, some of these uh, towel racks and things like that, the uh, soap dispensers and the, the um, you know, tissue paper holders and the toilet paper holders. And again, you know, for $25 at Walmart or something like that for this set, it's really a great budget upgrade. When you put it all together, this bathroom look, looks nice and fresh and doesn't make you feel like you're in the basement at all. It makes you feel like you're kind of away at the beach on uh, a tropical beach setting and uh, you're definitely a far way away from home. So that's the impression that I tried to give. And, you know, all those, it was a little bit of time, but all those things put together in that, that bathroom might have been 150 bucks, maybe less, and it gives it a whole new feel. Here again in the basement uh, bedroom, I painted this a bright yellow. Also, it was just white in here. So I painted the uh, chair rail bright white, gave it a fresh coat of paint, and then painted the walls bright yellow. Might be a little bright, but again, you're in a basement atmosphere. We get a little light into this room. And so I really wanted it to feel light and airy um, and take you away from kind of that basement feel. So we go out here, we had the wet bar in the pool area where you can kind of relax. And then you have your typical, you know, pool, hot tub here in the back. Um, I didn't really do much back here. I did put um, a gas grill um, back in the back corner there. And I might actually build a tiki bar here this winter. Might, you know, give it a little cool bar atmosphere back here. Again, some wood and some time building that but it's really not much money that's going to go into that thing. You might, you know, I might end up spending a thousand dollars or something, but on a Tiki hut, that's going to last a really long time and provide a lot of entertainment value for guests who stay here. And, and that's going to show up when they look at the house online, they're going to see Tiki bar 
and it's going to be an immediate attraction. So we have the gas grill back here. I had a little build a little platform there for it um, because you know if it does rain a lot back here, we can get water around the pool area. So you have to make sure uh, that's clear. So I added some of these hammocks around the house. You know, this one overlooking the pool was really nice because if you might want to be in the shade and away from the pool for a little bit, but at least you can still be in the presence of everyone down there um, or up on that second floor laying in the hammock, hearing the kids swim and, and so forth. And you can still be a part of that party. Again, the hammock up there and in this back corner here, um, one was actually a present. The other one, this one I bought on Amazon for not that much money and you have some more places to relax. One of the things that I think is really important for a vacation property is to have plenty of places to sit and gather and hang out with your family. So things like chairs or hammocks or couches, things like that, you know, especially if you can find some less expensive ones, just a place for people to kind of congregate and hang out. Now this is the laundry room. I didn't do much in here. It's a laundry room where people won't be spending a lot of time. So again, this might be a place where you wanna save your money. Uh, for example, again, not putting a ton of money in a short-term rental. What you wanna do is you wanna emphasize or focus those places that are gonna give you the biggest bang for the buck with tenants and really increase the appeal. So one of the little things that I did do was put a, a cool little laundry sign here to make people feel like it's a little, uh, little maybe fancier. And actually this off season, after this video was taken, uh, we did get a new refrigerator upstairs and put the old refrigerator still working just a little bit smaller down here. And now there's a, an extra beer fridge um, for people that people, I think, get a kick out of just having another place for beer or groceries. If you're staying here for a lot of people, um, it can overwhelm a refrigerator. So put a couple touches down here, but again, um, nothing major. One of the big improvements we did make was this off season, this past off season, we replaced all the carpet that was throughout the house. That was a repair that we knew uh, we were going to have to take on when we purchased the house. The house is about 30 years old, and this probably was their original carpet. So people staying here year in, year out, um, it was time to put in a new carpet. Uh, and you will have that from time to time. So the decision we did make, though, was we wanted to put in a uh, laminate uh, as a luxury vinyl laminate on the floors. We do allow dogs to stay here. So we needed something that was durable, something that wasn't going to get, you know, ripped off um, by kids or pets or, um, you know, have pet stains and things like that on it. So on the steps, we still have, we have a carpet. We use a really dark um, wear proof carpet. Kind of, I think it has a 20 year life on it. And then on the main floors, we put the vinyl laminate that's really, it's extremely hard to scratch, wears really well. One of the things that we did do was we put the carpet on the steps to prevent spills and, and uh, people slipping and falling and things like that, which is really important from a liability perspective. But on the main floors, we put that hard laminate. And that's something that should last an extremely long time and be very durable. And so it did cost us a little bit of money in the off season. But again, uh, it looks great. It modernizes the home. It lightens up the home. It takes this old Berber carpet that's really worn away and changes the whole look and feel of the home. Now, another thing that I did uh, this off season, again, uh, I wish I could show it to you in this video, but I painted all of this dark wood that you see, I painted white. Um, so this is all now bright and white. I repainted all the walls. Um, kind of more of like a steely blue, put up new artwork and all that stuff. It took an extremely long time. I went down for a week with my son to the house um, and did all that work with him. We sanded everything down, we primed it, we painted it, and it did take a long time. But at the end of the day, it was a few cans of paint. Um, it was a lot of hard work, but it didn't cost us a lot of money and the entire second floor looks different. So down here now you have your, your light laminate all the way throughout the house. All this wood is nice and bright and white, fresh coat of paint on the walls. And now for, again, outside of the laminate, not a lot of money, you've totally changed the look and feel from an older home uh, to something nice, fresh and new and vibrant. So in this bathroom here, we just 
change. We hung up a new uh, curtain here. Again, I painted uh, this bathroom a bright yellow to keep it nice and bright and airy. I really think you need to make the bathrooms feel fresh and clean and bright. Uh, I think that's really important. We put some new uh, towel racks and fixtures in here. Again, not a lot of money. And so, you know, a little bit more time. Um, but I didn't go ahead and do a huge bathroom remodel or anything. Um, I may end up changing this fixture here, but you know, the, the original mirror can stay. That's fine. That's not going to lose you any tenants or decrease rentability or anything like that. But I didn't do a major bathroom overhaul that might have cost me thousands, but I did freshen it up. Um, a new fixture here on the sink, new curtain, things like that to freshen it up. We haven't done this room yet, but it will be the same kind of thing. I think um, we're going to stick with the yellow color. We'll just put a, a, a fresh coat on here. And this room was actually pretty good to go. We did change out those lamps for more modern lamps. We found a couple really nice modern lamps with USB ports built in, which people love for recharging their phones and things like that. Uh, we found a couple on Amazon for about 50 bucks for the set. So not a big deal. We put a little sitting area there with some um, plastic Adirondack chairs. Uh, again, not that that big of a deal. Um, that door that we just went past there, that teal door, I repainted that one as well. So you have a, a fresh new feel. And again, this is where the hammock uh, now hangs up on the second level so that you can see down to the pool. This part of the video was actually taken at a separate time. So this is a behind the scenes look. When I was down there, obviously the pool was uncovered. Now it's covered. So this part of the video I took a little bit later to show you different parts of the house. Um, that's a little behind the scenes editing for you. So there's the teal door that I repainted and uh, a little sitting area here. Again, more seats. Yes, they're the plastic seats, but you know people just want an area to sit and hang out and, and relax. All right, so these are the back kids' bedrooms and bathroom now. Again, I put a fresh coat in here, new towel racks, new towel holders. Uh, there is a new light fixture there, not a lot of money. Um, but I did not change you know, the cabinets or do a major bathroom overhaul there. This bedroom now um, is repainted and I put more of a um, seashell fish theme. It is one of the kids' bathrooms. So I made a little more kid-like. I put fresh new blinds in here, took down this dated, um, whatever you would call that uh, window treatment painted all the wood in here white again like um, the, the pretty much the entire second floor we've since put a brand new bunk bed in here so that's all new and actually was only a couple hundred dollars for the entire bunk bed so again a couple hundred dollars and a lot of time in that room and it makes a huge difference this room too was the same thing we put a fresh coat of paint in here this isn't showing it but this is an older video um, but we got rid of these window treatments, put up nice faux, um, faux wood, white blinds in here, nice thick blinds uh, that you can pull down without strings and things like that, which can be a concern for kids. Um, and painted all the wood uh, in here. And um, again, with the laminate floors and everything, it looks nice and new. I will point out, you've probably seen them in all the rooms now. We put smart TVs in all the bedrooms, and this is really a huge cost-saving measure, frankly. One, most people don't watch cable TV anymore. Most people, especially kids in these kids' rooms, want to watch their YouTube or Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever it is on the smart TV. And so we do have cable in the house in the main sitting areas because it's required by our property manager. But in all the areas where it's not required, we simply bought relatively inexpensive smart TVs. I mean, they're good smart TVs. They're uh, Toshiba or um, Panasonic or something. I can't, I can't remember what the brand is, but their name brand smart TVs work very well. They have the Amazon, um, um, the Amazon technology in them. And so you can get on Amazon Prime or Netflix or YouTube or whatever it is that you want to watch other than cable. And that saves dramatically on the cable bill actually. So for a one-time, you know, $150 purchase of the TV, you save on having a cable box in here every month, taking seven or $10 or whatever it is. So it's a, a smart move to do something like that, especially if you're not required to have cable in the house. 
frankly, it's a beach house. Um, most people aren't sitting around watching TV unless it's a rainy day. Okay, and we continue to move through the house. Um, now we're going to go up to the main uh, living area. And it's actually shocking how much this house has changed since I made this video. I'm looking at all this um, in here. Now, in this one corner here, I'll take you back here. This corner here especially looks different. I actually um, put up some shiplap in this corner and then um, put up a huge kind of nautical um, decoration compass and then put a nice table down here with lamps and everything to add some light in the corner. And it's an in incredibly different look and feel. But again, not that much money. It was a couple boxes of shiplap, you know, uh, 50 bucks. And uh, table was about 50 bucks and uh, some more my pond. So you come up here to main, the main living space and quite frankly, this is mostly original. Now here I did put up the shiplap around the TV to make it a little bit, feel a little bit more beachy. Um, and the other thing that I did up on this level, if you take you back here for a second, one of the first things I did when I, um, when we came into the home, I put these shelves up um, before uh, there was nothing here. So it was a bunch of unused wall space and you couldn't put decorations up or anything. It was just um, kind of awkward, empty space. So I put up the shiplap here around the TV, which again, not that expensive and just kind of, you know, uh, used nail gun to put it up. It wasn't that hard. I'm not, certainly not a construction expert, but, you know, I was able to put that up. I put up some nice shelving so we can put up decorations up here and uh, we made it pretty nice up here this was all original furniture that came with the house so we've kept that mostly the same again not buying not putting a ton of money into brand new furniture which can get really expensive but this is certainly adequate certainly gives you enough seating for the family to sit around we did put some games in here so people could enjoy that the smart tv was already there and so um you know what more do you need Some nice little uh, study area there actually works out really well, given that a lot of people are working while they're away. That's a nice little, you know, either a home office or at least a little place where you can set up your computer. People can set up a computer and work is really important nowadays. There's the colorful Adirondack chairs that we bought um, right away when we moved in and, and put together. I have a little bit of money in that, but, um, you know, those Adirondack chairs might have been $75 a piece. So there's a little bit of money there, a um, little bit of money in the fire pit and seats. But really, again, seating is so important, um, really not that expensive. And you get a lot of bang for your buck because people love to sit out here on this deck and listen to the ocean waves and things like that. So and it adds with the color of the chairs, it adds a lot of spice to the house and a lot of appeal especially on those pictures that you post. Um, people can just imagine themselves sitting in those Adirondack chairs, listening to the waves. So here's actually the big, the, um, the big component of the house that we can work on, we plan to work on next. So the kitchen um, might be one place actually where you do wanna put your money. There is a lot of bang for your buck on the kitchen. I don't think you wanna go absolutely crazy. It's not the kitchen that you, you know, use every day or you're in every day. And especially, you know, if you're here for a short-term rental, you're here for a week or two, it's not a make it or break it thing, but it does really increase the appeal of the house. This uh, is the original kitchen. It kind of has a nineties look to it. It's, it's kind of dated. And this is one place probably this year that we are going to put some money and really upgrade the kitchen, but we're going to be smart about it. We're not going to go overboard because there's only so much return on investment that you're going to get um, no matter what improvement you make on your short-term rental. Now, this also happens to be, you know, while it's an investment, it's also a place that, you know, we may use in the long term. So we do want to do something that we're comfortable with, but especially if it's a pure investment and just there for short-term rental purposes, you know, make it a nice, clean kitchen with 
nice modern uh, appliances and things like that, but certainly don't go overboard because you're not gonna get your money out of it. Now here in this kitchen area, one of the big benefits of the kitchen area is it does have a ton of seating. So we have seats around the bar, we have a big table with a lot of seats. Again, really focus and emphasize on having seating available to people. Uh, another place to gather, we have a uh, screened in porch out here with a nice ceiling fan. We put in, when we moved in, that was another upgrade that we did. We put in brand new ceiling fans around the house. Um, there were some ceiling fans, but they were kind of old and wooden and really dated the rooms. They had metal that was kind of getting rusty. And so, you know, you can get a ceiling fan for less than $100 a piece. You can certainly spend more on them if you want. But I got nice, clean ceiling fans that really, uh, you know, match the um, theme of the room. So you can see here, for example, this one is really kind of beachy with, um, you know, palm leaf kind of shaped um, blades and with white matching the furniture. And so oh, it wasn't that expensive, but it really, I think, completes the room. The wicker furniture was here we were probably gonna put um, a high top table out here with four chairs so people can um, eat a little bit more easily out there. And again, another place to gather, but certainly been adequate for the last two years. Now we come into the master bath area. And um, one of the places we may ultimately put in, and this is another one of those rain heads, uh, shower heads, we may put a little bit of money in here. Um, I did upgrade the fixtures, the light fixtures there and the sink fixtures, but we may update that bathroom, especially because it is a master bathroom. So in the coming years, we may do that. We're certainly gonna add a fresh coat of paint here, up here this year. Again, a smart TV in there, uh, smart TV in all the bedrooms. And um, this is the master bedroom. So we do wanna put a little bit more focus on this, but, um, it has it's certainly been adequate for the past two years and, and number of years before we got into the rental property. So um, that is uh, the Sunny Days tour, and uh, I'm glad you, you came along with me on it. Again, most of the upgrades that we made were probably under $100, uh, almost all of them. We've upgraded a lot of the, the light switches and the plates which goes a long way. Any room that you go into, if you put in fresh paint, you change the plates and the switches. Um, some, I put in a lot of toggle switches over time, which modernizes the place. Um, you put in a lot of seating. You put in some uh, inexpensive smart TVs uh, instead of dated TVs. And it goes a long way uh, without a lot of money put into it. So. Just really focus and think about freshening up rather than overhauling. And you're going to get a lot of, a lot of bang for your buck and there's going to be a, a great return on investment for you. So I'd like to uh, hear from you. If you could leave down in the comments below, I'd like to hear from you some of the upgrades that maybe you've made or thought about making. Maybe, and if you have any questions for me about the upgrades that, that I've made, I'm happy to answer those as well. Uh, if you like the video today, please click the like button below, and I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of 2021, and my son bet me that I couldn't do it. And if he loses, he's already agreed that he will eat a can of carrots every night for dinner for a week. So we got to get him on those carrots. Help me prove to him that he's been wrong. I can get 100 subscribers, and I know it. So I'm gonna prove my son wrong. We're gonna get 100 subscribers by the end of the year, and he's gonna to have to eat one can of carrots every day for a week, uh, and we're gonna prove him wrong. So thank you so much for supporting the channel, watching the video, and I will see you all.